All right, Shalom. First and foremost, I would like to give all honor, all praises, all glory unto Yahweh, by Hashem, Yahweh Shai, by Hashem Rakak Badas. Yahweh is the Heavenly Father, who the Word only calls God. Yahweh Shai, the only begotten Son, who the Word only calls Jesus Christ. I want to say the water of thank you to Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai for the Rakak Badas. The Rakak Badas is the Holy Spirit, which is the driving force behind these lessons. I want to give double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone and rule well. Peace, blessing, grace, and safety goes out to all the Akim around the world. Preaching and teaching this word and truth and this sincerity. Shalom on to the hope for a lit. All right. It's the Aya Call from the Men of Valley, South Carolina. Coming back with another lesson. And I'm going to just go into something I've been meditating on. How the scriptures, all right, the Bible, all right, all right, the King James Version of the Bible, 1611, all right, is uh, the book of the Lord. All right. The Holy Scriptures, the Bible is the book of the Lord. All right. No book can compare to this Bible. No book or no other uh, uh, thing can tell you what's about to go on on the earth like the scriptures can. All right. That's why Akiyom and Atwaz believe in this thing wholeheartedly. We line these things up. What's going on in society today with the scriptures. All right. These, like I always like to say, these things in the scriptures have come to pass and will come to pass. All right. So it's just a, a beautiful thing to believe on this and to know that this is the. Uh, the knowledge, wisdom, and understanding that triumphs all knowledge, wisdom, and understanding. The understanding of the scriptures. All right, you will not get in the scriptures. Uh, uh, you you will not know from no other source that Babylon the Great, aka America, is going to fall. All right, going to be totally annihilated off the earth. All right, so that's a uh, beautiful thing. So let's grab some scriptures. All right, uh, let's get off that. So I was getting some pictures for the lesson. This is Isaiah 34 and 16. Seek ye out of the book of Yahweh and read. No one of these shall fail. None shall want her mate. Yeah, so none, no book is can compare to the scriptures. All right, none shall want her mate. And it says what? Seek ye out of the book of Yahweh. So this is the book of the Heavenly Father. All right, this book is inspired by the words of Yahweh. By Hashem Yahweh Shai, all right, and he, uh, Yahweh Shai said he is the um the value he comes in the value of the book it is written of him. So this is a spiritual thing. This is a spiritual book. It's just not uh something with words on it. All right, this book has the the Rakakwa Das. All right, seek ye out of the book of Yahweh and read. No one of these shall fail. None shall want her mate. None one of these shall fail. What is that talking about? The prophecies. No prophecy, all right, is not going to come to pass. Everything that's written in the scriptures will come to pass. All right, so none of these shall fail. And it says none shall want her mate. So, yeah, the Quran, all right, the Book of the Dead, all these Egyptology books, different philosophies, all right, what? None shall want her mate. All right, it says for my mouth, it says for my mouth it has commanded and his spirit it has gathered them, all right? Or I said the scriptures is uh has the Rakakwadash is inspired by the uh, Heavenly Father. The second Timothy three and sixteen. All scripture is given by inspiration of the Most High, and is profitable for doctrine, for reproof, for correction, for instruction in righteousness. Yes. This book guides you how to uh, live your life. All right, in the world it's a uh, acronym for the Bible, what basic instructions before leaving earth. All right, this book governs your life, tell you how to be, give you, uh, what, give you, um, what's the word I'm looking for? Uh, gives you order, so to speak, man. All right. Second Timothy 3 and 16, all scripture is given by inspiration of the most high. All right. So this is just not no, uh, a sister soldier novel. This ain't a damn newspaper. All right. Uh, let's grab this. This is 2 Ezra 15 and 1. Behold, speak thou in the ears of my people the words of prophecy, which I will put in thy mouth, said the Lord. Verse 2. And cause them to be written in paper, for they are faithful and true. That's the scriptures. All right. Let's read that again. 2 Ezra 15 and 1. Behold, speak thou in the ears of my people the words of prophecy. Okay which I will put in thy mouth, said the Lord. 
All right, these words of prophecy are going to be spoken. All right, and where where can you find these words of prophecy? And cause them to be written in paper, for they are faithful and true in the scriptures. All right, that's them being written in paper. And they are they are what? They are faithful and true. All right, these things are coming to pass right before our eyes. All right, we can literally turn on the TV and see Babylon the Great and straight. See famine, pestilence all around the world. All right, and, and it's written in the scriptures. All right. Revelation 19 and 10, and I fell at his feet to worship him, and he said unto me, See thou do it not. I am thy fellow servant, and of thy brethren that have the testimony of Yahweh Shai. Worship Yahweh, for the testimony of Yahweh Shai is the spirit of prophecy. All right? So the spirit of prophecy is in the scriptures. All right? The testimony of Yahweh Shai is the spirit of prophecy. And what do we prophesy out of the scriptures? All right? So you prophesy out of the scriptures, you have the testimony of Yahweh Shah. All right. Like I said, we see the prophecies come in the past. That's how we know that this is the book. This is the Rakakodash. This is from on high. This is not from man. This is from the heavenly father, Yahweh. All right. Bahashem Yahweh Shai. Because we see what? Things like this. We see Babylon the Great Falling. All right. We see they just. We see Esau coming up against each other. All right. They can't even be in agreement anymore. All right. You see, they what stormed the capital the other day. This is Mark 3 and 24. And if a kingdom be divided against itself, that kingdom cannot stand. And if a house be divided against itself, that house cannot stand. These are, these are some of the things that's written in the Bible. OK. And we turn on the TV and see we see a kingdom divided. We see a house divided. And what? It cannot stand. It's not standing. And what? Babylon is falling. All right. We see Esau coming up against Esau. And we know that the Edomites are what? Uh, are the modern day Egyptians. And these things, these this information is written where? In the scriptures. You're not going to get this information and be able to line it up with society nowhere else but the scriptures. Isaiah 19 and 2. And I will set the Egyptian, Egyptians against the Egyptians. And they shall fight every one against his brother and every one against his neighbor, city against city and kingdom against kingdom. All right. These are some of the prophecies that are written in the scriptures that we see and uh, we read and it registers with our spirit. All right. With the Rakakwa Dash. And we know that these things are faithful and true. And it, uh, it uh, gives us that faith. All right. First of all, what? Yahweh Bashim Yahshai gives us that faith. But reading these scriptures gives us that faith. To believe in and we know that this is the true book this is the uh, thing that trumps uh everything in society every knowledge piece of knowledge wisdom and understanding has cannot compare to the scriptures all right so that you know that was just something i was meditating on how holy how wonderful uh the scriptures is the bible is and we can't take it for granted these not just words you know because what brothers you know we read the bible often all right have it but we got to uh, know and treat this thing as treasure, all right, because it is treasure. These words in these scriptures are treasure, you know. So I was just uh, meditating on that. I don't want to write the that was edifying. Call Halayim, Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh, Shai, Shalom.